You're inhuman. You're an inhumane bunch of fucking living bastards and bitches, and you're gonna get your asses nuked in the end. If you're a fan of these guys, by now you've all heard what's been going on with this band for the past handful of months, because back in November, Dragged Into Sunlight posted on their Facebook a lot of the hardships and some of the drama they're kind of dealing with with prosthetic records. It seems that there's a few issues with our friends at prosthetic records. After going through statements and digging through all the bills and the letters and the emails, it looks like Prosthetic has paid us just £927 over the last 10 years. That's £92 a year, and that's all we've had. Not only do we get spoken to like shit, but our music's getting cheapened. We're getting dogged out on emails. We're getting demands barked at us with no communication for months. We're also having to deal with stocking issues when you guys can't even get hold of our vinyl and we appear to be constantly in debt with handling fees for tour stock at thousands more than the actual cost. Tisk, tisk, motherfucking tisk. Now, I know Prosthetic Records is no stranger to doing dumb decisions, but Jesus Christ, this is a whole new level for them. Along with the fact that video does explain as to why it feels like Dragon to Sunlight has been trapped in limbo for the past five years, because we haven't heard any really any news by them, Tours and shows are really limited. We haven't got any new merchandise, no new represses as to why it explains why all their stuff online goes for dumb fucking money. And the fact that we haven't had any new material by them in quite some time. Which then became such a shocker for a lot of fans back in January, Dragon to Sunlight announced that they have released Terminal Aggressor Part 2, but it had to be put out through Prosthetic Records. Originally, I wanted to do an EP review for this release because it was the first time in like five years since we've heard some new material by Dragon to Sunlight, but knowing all this controversy surrounding this release with Dragon to Sunlight and Prosthetic Records, I just couldn't help but tie that into the review and I just felt like it wasn't a proper review to do. But if I had to summarize this EP in short, it's really kind of like they're bringing back everything that Dragon to Sunlight has done in this one long 25 minute track. For example, the first half of it reminds me a lot of Terminal Aggressor Part 1 with dark ambience and noise surrounding you and making everything just so claustrophobic and cavernous sounding. Then you get midway and it really reminds me a lot of Widowmaker because these doomy sludgy riffs come through with the vocals that are just so tormented sounding and just make the hairs on the back of my neck stick up as it just gets more dense through its running time. Then you get to the final five minutes and my god it is so good because the death metal aspect comes through and it literally sounds like something out of hatred for mankind. Which is a great fucking thing because that means I'm comparing it to my all-time favorite death metal album. But because it's put out through Prosthetic Records, had you want to download this and put a purchase in on the Bandcamp, every single penny would go directly to Prosthetic Records and Dragon to Sunlight wouldn't even see an ounce of any revenue out of that. Thankfully though, Dragon to Sunlight is going to take Prosthetic Records to core in the very near future, and I honest to God hope they win every single penny that they can, and not because it's Dragon to Sunlight, they're one of my favorite bands and I want to always get money and be successful, it's the fact that I feel like if Dragon to Sunlight wins this case, not only will we be getting more material by them, more represses, more everything, but I feel like it's going to send a message to labels stating the fact that it's really simple and very blunt, just don't fuck with your bands. Because it's really fucking simple, guys, alright? Bands need money in order to survive in this industry, no matter what it may be. You've heard it a million times through BuzzFeed, I mean, through the punk rock NBA talking about the fact that bands need money. It's as simple as that. It's nothing greedy about that. You put in work and time and effort into this, you deserve some revenue from it, and it's as simple as that. And yeah, that's it. That's all I had to say in this video. Oh yeah, also, P.S. Fuck prosthetic records.